we got two products over here you can see. The 160 and the 161. The 160 has stain guard. The 161 has no stain guard. So there's obviously the difference in the product and also the difference in the cost. 160 is usually used on flat work where you have traffic. Be it through traffic, walking traffic, because you're going to have more stain resistance. On a roof tile, you don't necessarily need that. You need something that's just going to repel the mold, the algae, and retain the color on the surface. Neither one of these will enhance. All they do is protect. They may give it a slight enhancement on some substrates, but most of the time it's going to look like an invisible protection. Rounding around motion. This is the concrete slab right here. The rate of coverage on concrete is going to be around 200 to 250 square foot per gallon. Now, you're only going to get one coat on this. If it's extremely hot, this has to go on dry to become part of the substrate. It's a reaction. It was non film form. It's going to go in there, absorb in, penetrate. What's left, you will remove. Now, on concrete, if this were to absorb in really, really fast, then I could put a second coat on, but I have to do what's called damp on damp application. Once this dries, it will repel itself. You can kind of see right here. Right here is a good example, guys. Sometimes it's always remember where you sealed before. This little section was already done with the water shield probably a year ago. See how it's beating? will not take itself just sitting on the substrate so one coat application is usually all you need at a rate of 200 250 square foot on concrete roof tile same application spray it on that's it one coat application clay clay pavers these are clay you know some of our competition out here say you can Put film forming sealers on all clay surfaces. Again, you can do that if you have the right conditions, but in Florida and a lot of parts of the country, if you get a lot of rain. Let's say you're in Houston and you got Hurricane Harvey that comes in and dumps 42 inches of rain. Where's that moisture going to go? So if you have a film on top, which is like a sheet of plastic, it can't come out fast enough to the surface. So you're going to have issues with it whiting, efflorescence going to get trapped. These impregnators are breathable. So it lets the moisture out, but it lets the moisture in. It's kind of like Scotch Guard for fabric. It protects the fabric from stain, but lets the fabric breathe. Right? This will come back to you probably in about 20, 30 minutes. It'll be dry. It'll look like there's nothing there. Again, clay tile, clay paper, same thing. Round and around motions. See right there? That's already been coated. Uncoated, coated. Pretty simple. It's invisible. It's hardly anything to do other than prep properly. Make sure there's no mold, no algae. If you got to do an efflorescence treatment, you have the total prep, which we'll do on a second on one of these pieces over here. Um, and then one coat application. Now, the longevity of this depends on the surface you're putting in it. Again, how much it absorbs. The more it absorbs, the more it's going to react, the more it's going to become a permanent part of the structure of the concrete, of the clay, and or the pile of roof. Note on new roofs, you got to wait typically a year because most manufacturers put a coating from the plant. So before you can actually seal the roof tile, see if it's not it's repelling and apply. If it's absorbed water, in, then you can apply. Okay. Again, anybody has questions on this, contact us. Um, and we can hopefully uh, fill you in on any more questions you might have. Clean up, soak the water. I will tell you, it's kind of hard sometimes when you're cleaning up this product because it looks like water already. What happens is you're cleaning it up, you don't know if you're pushing water through or if there's product. That's why I like a little bit of soap because I can clean it out and then rinse it with water. The next time I do the application, I've got something that's been cleaned thoroughly. But it's non film forming, fairly simple, not a whole lot of water. You see a lot of sidewalks out there, a lot of driveways. Surface guys built there with a surface cleaner and pressure washing. They look good for what six months? 
eight months, and all of a sudden the mold and algae starts coming back in. You apply this down here, a driveway you should get at least a couple of years. A roof tile, you probably get five, maybe plus years out of it. Again, depending on how much body it absorbs, it becomes part of the subject. Okay. We go back now over here, we're going to re prep now travertine and natural stuff. 